In the early RLCraft stages, where you have nothing, and you just spawn in, which is better, the desert or the jungle? Uh, well, that's the question I'm going to answer today, because while well, late game, the environment you spawn in matters a lot less, uh, early game, it's very crucial to how you survive and how well you survive. Watch this video if you want to find out. Candy Power here, welcome to another video. And today I'm going to be talking about the desert and the jungle for early survival. Starting off in the desert, uh, if you want to start like surviving, uh, first you're going to need uh, tools, which the biggest con of the desert early, like when you spawn in early game, is that you can't really make flint tools because there's no string and there's no trees. Um, so it's it's very difficult to make stone tools in the desert. What you have to do instead is use the rock method, where you pick up rocks and you pick up sticks, and then you craft them into a pickaxe at a crafting table you find. Obviously the biggest con of this method is that you have to find a crafting table. Wow. Um, so if, if you're not a huge fan of that, uh, the desert may not be the best for you. Generally just an entire lack of materials in the desert. You will also not really have much material to make bandages out of, unless you like find things that have structures in them with a bunch of wool. Once you do have some basic materials like stone and some string and sticks, you can make uh, your first weapon. I recommend the pike in the desert, because most of the things in the desert that are going to kill you are going to be uh, like things you don't want to touch at all, even if you have a shield. And the pike has the most range, so that would be for things like joust, which are the main threat here. They will chase after you. The, the reach really helps with these guys. They're fast. They're only hostile if they have an alpha. Sometimes their alphas will fight other alphas, and sometimes there will be very rare alphas. So even if you think you're safe watching out for just the red ones, if you see an alpha that isn't red, that could also be an alpha that has a rare skin discoloration. The jousts aren't really dangerous compared to death worms, which are even more dangerous. They will jump out of the sand and follow you for very long distances if you don't run fast enough. Uh, they can also, like, one-tap you. Generally just not good, the exception obviously being if you kill them and make their armor into the armor, that then it's a lot better. Um, it, it actually takes less skill than iron to wear the armor, so another big pro of the desert is that even though there's all these deadly things like uh, death worms and dragons, you can see them from very far away. There's, like, no foliage in the desert, so if you're a dragon, you can see the dragon, or not, you aren't the dragon, obviously, uh, but you can see the dragon from far away. Um, you can see death worms, you can see Miramex stems, which Miramexes are also option in the desert. Um, you can spot them from very far away, generally just pretty good. Miramex royals are seeable from very far away. Uh, you can get some good uh, stuff from here, though it is very deadly. They will pierce through your stone shield. If you have a stone shield, I think they'll pierce through iron too. So, you know, it's I'd recommend the pike again here. If you if you have like a bow or a crossbow or a thrown weapon, use that. But if you don't, the pike will probably work if you're very good at video games. The temperature, the desert's pretty hot. This is where it like not good at all. Is during summer, uh, you will like be destroyed unless you have a ton of armor stuff to cool you down or you sit in like water pools all day. And then there's also pyramids. For these pyramids, uh, the desert has pretty good pyramids. They're generally smaller and they're as they are smaller they're also less loot and XP but they're also more manageable to take down and you can also see them from very far away. So those are the, those are the pros and cons of the desert but is the desert worse or better than the jungle? Alright, so in the jungle, uh, when you spawn in, you're gonna have a little different journey of you can actually reliably do it because not only does it have plenty of foliage for you to make your plant strings and stuff, you can also find flint in the jungle. So you can do that, or you can go with the rocks and crafting table method, which is generally more risky, but a lot of people don't bother with the hassle of flint, so it's up to you. Um, there are a lot of materials here, so you won't be limited to doing that method, where you can you can get a lot of plant fiber to make beds and bandages and whatever. Uh, you can get your materials very fast, so the next question you want to know is what is the best weapon in the jungle? I have two different uh, weapons. is The saber, because it reduces a bunch of your damage, and still is pretty good. 
and it allows you to use a shield for if you're getting like destroyed or whatever. And then the spear, which is uh, it's longer ranged but still allows you to use a shield. So this just depends on whether you want the better range or the better protection. While gathering a string and stuff, you also have to worry about spriggans or whatever else spawns from a plant. Uh, because if you break enough leaves for beds and whatever and bandages, you will eventually spawn one of these guys in. They're they're kind of annoying and deadly, so that's the downside of this place is that all the grass you accidentally break has a chance to spawn in a spriggan or whatever else it spawns in. Um, then you also have to make your own bandages, so when you get injured, you have to make your own bandages. It's more feasible in a desert, because in the desert, there are just no sheep or plants, but you will be getting damaged a lot more. Alright, so another big thing that's going to contribute towards you being damaged in the jungle is Vespids, which are a lot more deadlier, um, because they just randomly spawn in in the daytime, and they fly around, and they can sting you very badly. Uh, you will probably feel the pain faster than you can feel your life slipping away from you. Next up with their pyramids, they have uh, pyramids in the jungle, but they're very big. So if you're looking for a simple raid, I would not recommend pyramids in the jungle. You can always go in just a little bit, um, but they are generally deadlier because they're bigger, but that also means they have a lot more loot, and they're also more spottable from away, which the foliage in the jungle is very dense, so spotting structures can be pretty hard sometimes. I'd recommend finding a flat patch of ground that's gonna you're gonna see the vespids from farther away, uh, there's also not going to be any darkness that can get you killed because darkness will spawn in mobs if there's not enough light levels, so that's a big pros and cons of the foliage as well as it will also block your path sometimes because there's just that much of it. This makes it hard to spot dragons or miramexes from a distance as miramexes make dens. Unless you spot the flying royals, uh, you might accidentally walk into a Miramax den. So that's something to keep in mind, though they're still available, so you can get it. You can still get the good armor if you want. There's also temperature in the jungle is much more manageable, so if you were going to be in the desert, you were probably going to have a lot harder time than you would in the jungle, though it can still get pretty bad in the jungle, it's just nowhere near as extreme. So if you want an answer of whether one of these is good or bad, uh, there's not really a good or bad because the jungle is just more of a plentiful game where there's a lot more jungle and resources but there's also a lot more enemies and threats whereas in the desert it's safer because you can see everything from farther away um, but there's also nothing to harvest that could block your path in the first place. So, so that's the differences. Uh, if, anyways, if you like this video and you want to see more videos like it, uh, make sure to like and subscribe so I know you will like it. Uh, if you don't like it, also let me know. Uh, Alright, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.